other. So this side I do, turn to this side, and I see this side. Oh my, you all look beautiful. I'm not sure. You all be good with each other. Can you give yourself a little applause? And so the intention of the service is to be short, crisp, and sweet. Can somebody say amen? Before I go any further, I have a responsibility. My wife knows it's coming. She knows it's coming. So she paying, she'll be paying herself for this moment. Right? And so I wouldn't ask the son, although I'm tempted to ask the son. <laughs> somebody say what? Give yeah, not a temptation, but after go home after. <laughs> so okay, sister, you see, you know what? I highly respect you. You know what I heard. So everybody else besides my wife, please stand. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Everybody besides my wife, please stand. Okay. 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 Okay, because uh, can everybody turn to one sub, please? Turn to one sub, turn to one sub. Turn to one sub, please. Excellent. So today is a birthday, right? Oh! <laughs> so you want to sing happy birthday to her? Right? Are you ready? Are you ready? After she does, don't disappoint me. Eh? Don't bother for more. Don't disappoint me. Huh? Kiss her, kiss her, kiss her, kiss her. Happy birthday. Let's go. Two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pioneers. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good I saw KFC biscuits in a box. 
Yeah. Yes, what are you going to do? Yes. Eat it. I eat it? Yes. You sure? I don't like it. <laughs> but I eat it because I was hungry. I was hungry and breaking. Let me tell you something. It tastes good. And matter of fact, even now, when I'm going to KFC, ask my wife, guess what I ask for? I don't want chicken. I don't want wing. I don't want breast. I don't want side breast. Give me the I want a brisket because why? I was hungry. And so within my experience, what is in me that is desire for? Brisket. Some of us need motivation. That intrinsic experience to be had. Or possibly we had it. To have a desire for God. What do we need in our life to have a desire for God? Possibly we need to be home. Are we home? Let's throw the word of God and see together. Are we really together like a church? Right? We're going together. In the third year of the reign of King of came to heaven. King of come to and received. Let's go again. And the Lord came of into with which he into the light of to the house of no 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 stop there stop there of who's God? What is his God? I know I don't worship him God. Look at the common age that man called somebody. And it's his God. It's a God that is made of stone, not a real God. And I didn't shoot one silly. And I don't. Can somebody say amen? And know what? He brought the vessel into of his God. Let's go again. And the king spake unto the master of his that he should bring what? What's that word they call certain certain children of? So special persons, right? Special persons are peculiar. That they have certain qualities that are separate from the from the others. Okay. And of the king's what? And of the prince. Let's go again. Come in here, let's go, let's go. Children in whom went to us, no? Who? Who children? Who children? For children, children of? Of Israel. And they have what? No? Let's go again, but was? And what? It was. And coming. And on the side of science. And such as had ability in them to what? Stand in the what? No, see. And whom they might? Teach the learning and the time of the stop. Showing sure of whom? Of God. Of God. They had what? Come on, come on, officers of the church. They had what? No? Blemish. They had no blemish. But what King Nebuchadnezzar was did the best. Yeah. Because he's what? He's king. And all kings want what the best in their in their palace, in their territory. And so as persons of God. We also have to have a desire to want the best in God's home. Yeah. And so as we go further, you what's happening here? The, the, the king never could have understood. Come, go, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Come on, come on, come on. Go back. He, he, he understood. And the first thing you have to do when you have to what, change the perspective of the children of Israel who have no blemish is to what? Change. No, 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 no. You have to give them, but then they are put together for class. You have to give them the knowledge of the what? The child. Come on, somebody. Give them the knowledge of the child and the young. So the, what was taught then, it was taught, not in US. <laughs> what was taught was taught in a university working in the Canada and, and in knowledge and in values. Of that time, what's what? Be careful where you place the children. Mm. The children of God they came from Israel. They had no blemish, and of course, the king wanted that. But he understood he had to change their mindset, he had to change their ways. So, what he did was to put them in an institution of the child because he wanted.
come to get raised to be the raised of Israel, but you want to be raised to be raised of Ooh, be careful. But you place the truth. Be careful what you expose your mind to, officers. When we talk about our spiritual life, we have to be intentional. And that is why for me, I mean, I the KFC biscuits. Right? I was hungry. But you can imagine if it was only pork in the fridge. What I am standing here today, I can tell you I'm going to eat it. But you sure about that? There's a man in scripture. He gave up his birthright because he was. I'm saying to the church of God, people of God, when you are hungry, it's when you are most vulnerable. Be careful what you eat. Be careful the environment you are placed in. Be careful where you go because that will be construct a path for your future. And so the first thing he did was he put them in an institution. Change their knowledge base because he wanted the values of what? What is the values of the church? Officers have been elected. Persons have committed their life to serve God. We have made resolutions. If you please. <laughs> I, I post something on Facebook recently. I said, um, I could come somewhere actually, right? So uh, uh, it, was, it was said that um, my resolution for this year is so when I take the clothes out of the dryer to hold it one time. <laughs> <laughs> and I find you all are getting mad with judgmental. They're like, you know, you all don't know those things, right? You all don't know those things. It doesn't go okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the point I'm making is that what you are accustomed to, and I'll make this point over here that time. Time is linear, right? And some persons have the mis, 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 misperception, right? That because January 1st came, there's some entity within January 1st that helps me to change the dynamic of the way I do things. Time that construct that we have placed in our human existence for us to appreciate time. But January 21st, if a decision was not made in January 21st to be Christ centered, therefore January 1st, no, no, December. No, oh, correct, 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 correct. No, 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 I have to go back now. If a decision wasn't made, where? In December 21st. How, therefore, you can experience this great transformation on January 1st? And now I'm saying that that can happen. Change can happen in an instant. But what I'm saying, the point is, when we have to make it to Christ, the time to make it is now. Yes, yes. And so if you want to be a Christian in your heart, you have to make a decision that when you are vulnerable, when challenges happen, don't go to the fridge. <laughs> All right. The first thing you have to do, Let's look up. <laughs> because we're not sure. We're not sure the world comes. When the world presents a case to us, the world has a motive. But as a child of God, when we decide to keep the commandments of God, we do it not in the construct of the champions. We do it in the construct of Jesus Christ. Capital H. God is our Lord. Yeah. As the first point, education is important. All right. The system of which you are in is important. Because that's of course of which you inherit your values. That's why they have value system. Let's go again. Let's go again. Two more, two more, two more points. Two more points. Let's go. Next scripture. Next verse. Next verse. Let's go. Come on. Chapter 5. Uh, verse 5. And the king. Appointed them what? 
Identity. What again? Hmm? Ideology. My control. What again? Talk to me, somebody. Anybody else? Why do you want more? Huh? You see? Okay, okay. It changed from which name to what name? It changed from his name to? Okay, now look at this very case. In the Hebrew Bible, bread and meal was given. It was given in a way to define one's destiny and purpose. And so if you change the person's name, you also bring what you call in psychology, right? Dissonance. Dissonance. Cognitive dissonance. Because if the name defines who you are, it gives you purpose. That's the context of the human mind. But for us, when you look in the mirror, you can see just your own. But in a human mind, when you, because your mind is pictorial, <laughs> it's imaginary. So when you look, when you look in the mirror, is I see, I see my name. So if I get up a woman, I possibly don't have mirrors, then I don't know. I do not have to right? Possibly look at me in, 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 in the water. <laughs> Come on, somebody! Then they look in the water. Where is my reflection? And, 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 and because, because when they look in, 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 in reflection, they have to see the name. And I don't know what I see my new name. What, what am I seeing now? What am I seeing? What am I seeing? Shaka. <laughs> I, I am not seeing what? Mishak. I am not seeing what? Appendigo. I am not seeing my name. And so I'm confused. My purpose is conflicted. I don't know who I am. What is in the name? And for even Jesus Christ, his name means what? What? Savior, because it's Savior for our sins. Name matter. Your name matters. And so in terms of construct of our world today, when you are given the right of God, you put on a new name. You are now a child of God. Can somebody say amen? amen. So name matters. The name matters. And so, and so Daniel, or to him the prince of God, gave names. They come out to change their names. He wants to change the way they view themselves, but in the name of Jesus. They declare, I know who I am. And I'm asking you this morning, everybody within the hair of my voice and life, do you know who you are? And do you know who you are? And so when we march forward through this year, we're not marching forward by a world standard. We are marching forward knowing that the God of heaven, his name is Jesus. And we are going forward with confidence. Amen. Not by a world's standard, no. but by God's upper case. Amen, please. <laughs> Woo! Big G. Mm. We have to know who's here. Oh, yes, I tell you, you know, this weekend, I went um, to do some exhibitions. And I went to people too. I don't call any names. I can describe to you as see. Bullet to the fridge. Bullet to the wall. Bullet to the concrete. And the bridge the holes I saw. Big holes. It wasn't any ordinary gun that was used. These guns that were used are I think it was semi-automatic rifles. I didn't know what it is because I never did. <laughs> right? High power. High power. Fully loaded. Wow. Uh, this flat effect. <laughs> right? And can I let you know? Yes, I am a pastor. Yes, uh, called by God. Yes, we are called by God. But can I let you know? I experienced personal trauma. <laughs> Uh, actually, I mean, for the road, you right? And then my sister showed me in the video blood everywhere. I can share more, but it's a lie. Like, I don't want to share more. It's a really interesting person. But I went to the 
community. I went from neighbor to neighbor, speaking to them, talking with them. And I asked myself, Daniel purpose in his heart. But I was hungry. I purpose in my heart to eat that biscuit. But Daniel purpose in his heart to have sin against me. But then I'm not talking to mine. When someone has purpose in their heart, it means it to see their focus. Come with me, I'm not looking left, I'm not looking right, I'm focused to do the will of God. I am asking myself no, I'm not to judge nobody. I, I'm having introspection. I'm asking myself, Lord, the, 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 the officers and the leaders and the pastors in the church and am I kid? Do they have that purpose in their heart to do your work? I'm asking a question, Bridget, and I'm not sure how to answer that question. So I'm saying, Lord, I don't know one of them as yet. So they were talking to God. <laughs> I think I made some excuses now. You know, God, I don't know one of them as yet, because I visit more, Lord, and you know, God, you are leading me. Say, you know what? I come in front of the church now, in front of you. For us to ask ourselves the question, are we purposed in our hearts? Come with me that we will do God's business. We'll visit the sick. We'll feed the poor. When I went in, I was speaking with some of the persons, you know what I told them, Bridget? I said, I said, sis, is it church here for you now? She said, if I can come, are you wasting time as a pastor? Are you wasting time? She so should look, look at me. I said, yeah, I said, I, I said, I really do, do. let's talk. Let's talk. We are here for you and family. So I recognize my limitations as a person. So I come, I say, today, when I'm here, I'm supposed to be here. I come into the church. I said, Virgin, this is what I'm saying to you now. Yes. Commitment is important. I mean, consecration is important. But consecration leads to action. Amen. Am I talking to you? Amen. Consecration leads to action. action. There's no such thing as a dead Christian. There's no such thing as a resting Christian unless you're resting in yourself. And that rest in the next month by itself. But the point is, Richard, it's time for us to get up. Amen. Get up. Be pointed up. Let's go out there and minister to God's people. They are God's people too. Amen. And so, so today, why do we make this commitment to God? And we covenant ourselves to God. I ask the leaders of this church, let's work together. I ask persons who are leaders, who are to be elected, let's come together and do God's work. Verse 8. Verse 8. Verse 8 says, But Daniel, but Daniel, that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested another prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. This text goes, and there's so many nuggets and jewels in this entire scripture. I can go on. But the fact is, to summarize, after some time, Daniel was what? Stronger. Daniel was.
Okay, let's go. We are going forward and we are determined that no man, no woman will be left behind. Amen. Please stand to your feet. Sister Diamond, can you please come forward and walk on the only spot? And just sing all that song for us. That, that was a God-led song. Amen. Amen.